Hello, I'm David. And I'm Andrea. Welcome to If I Can, You Can. This is our sixth in the series of video podcasts on canning. Today we're going to show you how to can pate, and we're going to tell you about how to can fish and meatloaf. Let's get started. Today we'll can two types of pate. We'll can first a pork and chicken liver pate, and secondly we'll can a rabbit and veal liver pate. Both are exactly like making meatloaf, very simple to can. For our equipment today, we'll begin with a meat grinder. If you don't have a meat grinder, you can simply ask your butcher to grind it for you. Our equipment today will be quite simple because we're just doing a raw pack. For the equipment, we simply have our jars. We're using a very small half pint jar. And we'll be canning some in pint jars. We have caps and lids, clean towels, clean paper towels. And for processing today, we'll be using our pressure canner. Remember, all recipes, equipment, and processing times can be found on canningusa.com. For the pork pate, we want to begin with a pork that has a 12 to 15 percent fat content. We have eggs, chicken livers and hearts, and we also have shallots and onions. We're going to begin with our pork pate. We're going to grind the ingredients, the meat, the liver, the onions, and the shallots, alternately using the meat grinder. Then we'll simply add in our beaten egg. And as with meatloaf, I'll mix it with my hands. And Andrea will add some salt and pepper. Make certain it's very well mixed. Pork pate, or pate de la campagna, is country pate. It's a very simple pate with pork, chicken livers, salt, pepper, and pâté is normally served as an entree or for the aperitif. Then I'm doing a raw pack with the pâté. This is the pork pâté into the jars with a spoon. I'm being very careful to not have any air bubbles. And because we're canning two pâtés today, after Andrea cleans the jar, she is putting a pea on the lid so that we can distinguish between the pork and the rabbit. She's wiping down the top of the jars with a damp paper towel and then putting on the lid and the cap. With the last jar, we don't have quite enough for our headspace, so Andrea is marking it with P-E, and we'll process it, which will cook it, and we'll eat it right away, since it won't be sterilized correctly with the incorrect amount of headspace. Now we're making the rabbit pâté. Same procedure as for the pork pâté, except that there's a slight difference in the ingredients, because Rabbits actually are very lean animals, so we need to add some added fat. Here's the rabbit that we have marinated overnight with some bay leaf, which we are not adding to the pâté. So the flavor is in the meat, but if you add uh, very strong spices to your pâté, they will only get a lot stronger while they're being processed. David is now adding the fat, which he prefers dark fat, so that's what we're using today. And I'm going to add some salt and some pepper. Please refer to our recipes on the website canningusa.com. 
Iya. We also like to can tuna. Look for it at your market when it's fresh and available and very inexpensive by the whole fish. It's a great way to save a lot of money and have the best tuna you've ever tasted. Last year we canned tuna in both uh, water, in a water pack, and we also canned marinated tuna that we marinated overnight in olive oil with herbs and spices, and that one was really good. We're raw packing this pate today. Same procedure for the tuna fish that I was talking about. Um, David is packing the jars carefully to avoid large air pockets. And then I'm wiping the jars off and putting the caps and the lids on. Having things like pate or canned tuna or canned meatloaf on hand in the cellar ends up saving a lot of trips to the grocery store. One last thing that you need to buy and haul home and the quality is incomparable. For the rabbit pate I'm also doing a classic pate which I'll cook in the oven. And I'll put this into another dish with water and we call that a bain marie and I'll cook it at 325 degrees for about an hour and a half and then set it in the refrigerator for three to four days before I serve it to guests. And now I'm putting the jars into the pressure canner the water in the pressure canner is cold. The jars were a raw pack. They're cold and the water in this is cold. We want to make certain we do that so they don't break. I'm putting the large jars in first. And then I can stack the small jars right on top. Processing times can be found right in the recipe on canningusa.com. I'm putting on the lid. And for detailed techniques of how to use the pressure canner, refer to canningusa.com. Now let me show you how to open a pate from last year. We'll simply open it up. It's nice and cooked and you can see the fat has gone off to the side. We're just going to wipe around it and take some of that fat out. and remove our pâté and plate it. You can put biscuits or bread around the side. And to serve it, you cut it exactly like you would cut a pie. Thank you for joining us as we showed you how to can pate today. And you can find the entire series of video podcasts on canningusa.com. Here, let's taste this, Andrea. Okay. I know this is going to be good. Thank you. Mm. Is it? Mm. That's excellent.